I'm gonna do it for reals, okay? I don't, I don't care what anyone says, cause this is hanging with Gildum, cause you know I got another victim. I picked them up from the street. Oh they, no! They had no <laughs> say in this, and now they're just like wrapped up in my bedroom, mainly the basement. I fed them. <laughs> Anyways, so how you doing? Good. 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 Uh, so. For realsies, because I know a lot of people are probably just like, yeah, WTF, should we be worried? Should we call the police? Maybe, viewers. Maybe. But I digress, you know, that's not the point. The point is, I got a friend. I've known them since high school. Well, te high. technically, I don't remember you from junior high except for like ninth grade. We had English together. I in know, grade. in seventh grade, but I don't remember <laughs> that. See, it's this weird thing where it's like, you remember that because, like, uh, reasons? I, I don't know the reasons, but basically, I remember being in that class, I remember doing stuff, and I don't remember any more past that. But you remember it a lot better than I do. Anyways, um, yeah, so I have, I have one of my old high school chums. Well, I guess I should just say school chums. Um... And, and she's pretty awesome. She's actually been on the channel before, believe it or not. Some of you might not, but she was, uh, she, we were doing like this 25 song rock band marathon. <laughs> oh, you remember that. The painful memories of actually trying to do that. and that like so look. painful. <laughs> Dude, I, I went through my storage unit and I was just like looking up like a bunch of stuff. And I put like my old, uh, my old rock band and uh, guitar hero equipment in it. I had to dig it out. So, uh, I, I actually have it, but uh, I'm, I'm not in the mood to go like play any of that. That fat died, and my, think... my uh, desire to play kind of died with it. I don't think my hands could handle that. Nah, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Come on, what, what's a little bit of a uh, carpal tunnel between trying to get like the 100 song marathon out of the way? God forbid they put a thousand one for like people who have no life and want to spend a, a week just like trying to hound out a thousand songs probably I don't know replaying three songs each After plus DLC. After doing that you like seriously have to sit in silence for a very long time to I don't, I don't know I mean like I do. <laughs> you do you, you need to just chill out in silence I, I need to go listen to some Pink Floyd <laughs> Dude, man, I don't care what anyone says. So I did talk about like prom on the channel and like the segment I talked about earlier, and you were there. You were actually in my group. Uh, I don't really want to get too much into it because there's not really a whole lot more to cover. But uh, I, I will say this: you were there when I first got my exposure to Pink Floyd. Because like afterwards we did the laser show. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and you and didn't you say like it was really trippy or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but for me, I was like, dude, it was amazing. It just, it, it like, it, it like, I, I'm trying to think of the term. It, it just like spoke to me. It like mm -hmm. spoke to me and it just like, <laughs> it was amazing. It was like one of those moments where I don't think anyone will understand unless like you've had the same experience where it's just like, you know, it just, it, something about it just like tuned to my soul. And then it's like, I understand. Like I got the I got I get the message. It's great. And it was it was a it was one of those moments where it, everything just uh, felt better. And then you know for some reasons, like for for some reason I don't know why, but I like to think Pink Floyd is kind of like a really good antidepressant just because like every time I listen to it or the Wall specifically, every time I listen to the Wall, like I get through the whole entire album, I feel better about my life. <laughs> It's amazing. I, I don't understand it, but it's just, it's amazing. And I used to do that a lot uh, after graduation because uh, I suffered a lot of depression. I still suffer a lot of depression, but uh, I, I have different methods to cope. Stardew Valley is, uh, is one of those. I like Stardew Valley. What game is that? Uh, so you ever play Harvest Moon? Okay. Not um, a gamer. <laughs> What? Well, but no, <laughs> you no. Uh, okay, so this is gonna sound really boring. It's a farming simulation. Like Farmville. No, better than Farmville. Uh, cause it's not like 
you don't have point and clicking and, and you don't have like a timer and you don't have like an energy bar. Basically, you go around growing crops and you raise animals and uh, they add little tidbits of doing other things. And the nice thing about Stardew Valley is uh, you can actually go exploring. Like you don't have to just do the whole farming thing. You can, There's like a mine that you can go down and you can like harvest ore in that and you can fight monsters. And that's pretty cool. Uh, you can also go around into the forest that's right next to your farm and you can go like collect stuff. You can make a profit off of that too. And uh, you, you got villagers that you can go befriend and they got like this heart meter where it starts off at like zero hearts but you know uh, it goes from like zero to ten so like you get it all the way up and, and they love you. They love you. Also you can get married in that game so it has dating simulations. <laughs> You laugh now, but <laughs> but like me being the introvert that I am, and like completely SOL when it comes to matters of the heart, <laughs> uh, it, it, it fills my desire. It, it makes me bad. feel accomplished. <laughs> Crash bad. Yeah. So the end or the uh, was it the insane trilogy or like the remake that that came out yesterday. Oh really? Yeah, they they like basically remade all the uh, all the original trilogy for the PlayStation. I got it, but of course because you know Amazon decides whether or not you're gonna get it at launch day, uh, decide that you get it Monday. Oh, that so sucks. July third, I get Crash Bandicoot and I get to play it. You know, I could have gotten it yesterday, but apparently my pre-order was just like, nope, you get it Monday. I used to play it all the time. Dude. Next time, next time you come over, you should do that for the channel. Okay. If you want, I mean, uh, oh yeah, I mean, I've explained why I got a uh, random victim from the streets that I went to high school with, did I? Uh, so it turns out that I was like, yo, we, we should like do stuff for my channel, cause you know, you were here once doing the rock band marathon, and that was amazing. But I would like to get you back here and like I don't know, chill out, play some spooky stuff, and just like kind of have fun and do the, do the thing, cause uh, yeah, cause I love you, plutonically, but you know all all that stuff. Also, I got you food. She's uh, going for the M and M, so you know, uh, cause cause you know that family. <laughs> She's my sister. That, that's really all you need to do. She's my sister. It turns out that's the big secret right there. <laughs> uh, d different one from my stepsister, but at the same time. My sister's here with me, just kind of chilling with me. And, uh, yeah, you know, we, we don't really play, like, the games except for, like, you know, Guitar Hero back in the day. That was fun. And, like, Rock Band. Uh, I think I think that was the peak, though, right there, you know. Just, just can't do it anymore. Um, Carpal Tunnel, and uh, I don't want to sit through like trying to marathon a bunch of Bob Dylan songs. Uh, not that I have anything about anything against Bob Dylan, but uh, There's only so many songs that you can do. Man, Tangled Up in Blue kind of kind of broke me a little bit. I got to be huh. honest. Has nothing to do with the guy who made the song just it's the song on the rock band thing. I, I was not a fan. Uh, but I, I digress, you know, that's not the important th thing. The important thing is uh, we, we should totally do some Crash Bandicoot. I think it would be really fun for everybody here. Um, that is Spooky Games. Because I like Spooky Games. I don't know what... You, uh, spooky Games are amazing, man. I like getting scared. You watched Paranormal Activity with me. That used to be a thing until they went to utter shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I forgot about that. I talked about that once. So... Yeah, it's like, when I first experienced the awesomeness of the first movie, you were there, and it was scary as hell. I had, uh, I had my friend, uh, who actually has a channel, and I have not spoken to him in a while, but, uh, he went with us to the first movie, and, oh, the crows are back! I talked about this in a video. Apparently, it's murder time. Mm -mm. Which, I remember uh, faces. Yeah, yeah. It's murder time. Um... That, that's what you call a flock of crows, everybody. A murder. And apparently, that, that's what they're saying. It's like, it's, it's, time, it's time to do murder. It's time to, time to get Bob and Greg and um, the 50 other crows that are basically just blotting out the sky in just a giant flock. Anyways, I'm, I'm digressing because that happens a lot. This is It's basically you just ramble about anything on your mind. 
But anyways, as I was saying, so yeah, uh, when we first watched Paranormal Activity, me and uh, me and my buddy, not you, you kind of went your separate way, but me and uh, me and him, we just kind of ended up like not being able to sleep that entire night. Where are you going? Uh, Corey. Oh, Corey. Corey. Uh, he he's from Maine. I don't know. Okay. It is fine. Sorry. No, it's, uh, you only like met him once. <laughs> Uh, for any of you who don't know who who I'm talking about, uh, that is Midnight 52,000. Uh, but I mean, or actually, no, 5200. Uh, my bad. I, apparently, I don't know his channel nearly as well as I thought I would. There, there's a card like right there. You can go click on that. Go see his channel. Support the arts. He has like a second channel, but I'm I'm linking his original one because uh, that that's the one that has most of his videos. But anyways, yeah, so like, me and him, we could not sleep the whole entire night. We ended up just like, going and playing Parasite Eve. Because it's a game, despite the fact that it's scary, it's a game that we both like, know inside and out, and we like, feel secure with it. It's one of those odd situations where it's like, it's familiar, so you know, it's, you, you feel a little more confident about the situation. But anyways, um, yeah, so... Like, do you, do you have any thoughts on Paranormal Activity? It was good until it got predictable. Predictable? So, like, third movie? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what was... That was the prequel, wasn't it? That was, like, when they went... Or, I guess I guess the second one's kind of more like a prequel until, like, the last ten minutes. Where it's, like, more of a sequel. But, uh... I, I, wasn't that the one with like the two girls when they're like really really young like it goes back to the 1970s or something like that where it's like they're little kids and uh, uh, you you have like the stepdad who like tries to figure out ways to capture things which is an interesting concept but I don't think it's viable in a lot of ways like I, I think they had to break a couple things just to make this happen uh, I think I think that was the uh, that was the third one. I don't remember. I have to go back and watch them. <laughs> you want a marathon paranormal activity? Mm. <laughs> Halloween? <laughs> oh, come Maybe. on. It'll be fun. I'll, I'll get some candy and, <laughs> and uh, um, I'll get some M&M's. I'll bribe you with some M&M's. Maybe. I'll throw them at your window. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the second floor. I'll, I'll throw them at your window, <laughs> and then I'll throw a rock and tie a note that says you promise. <laughs> we'll see. They're not on Netflix. They're, uh, I have the first one, because it's the best one. You can rent them on Amazon, too. Oh, well, I, I, guess, I guess I know what we're doing. Because I just happen to have like an Amazon account and I order stuff from it, like like the Crash Bandicoot and same trilogy, you know. I think there's five, five or six of them. Yeah, I was gonna say I think there's six actually, but I, I don't know. See, the problem with Paranormal Activity is after a while, uh, there's like not canonical stuff made by other people and you're kind of like is that part of the paranormal like saga or is it like you know something else that's kind of in the same style of found footage or something like that and you don't really know but you, you, you want to believe <laughs> like deep down you want to be like I don't know what to do with this I can't sort it out you just you just take them all you put them on the floor and then you try to line them up in some sort of timeline and you get to this point where it's like I don't know my mind has literally obliterated into mush. It's it's devolved. I I, I give up. Give me a Xanax. <laughs> I can't handle it anymore. I, I I just like to know I do not have any Xanaxes. I just I I I feel like that's a thing you do, right? Maybe. No. Oh, okay. No. Just me. Well, it's all good. It's all good. And I'm just losing my mind because apparently it, uh, work, work's been pretty pretty difficult lately. Not not in the sense that like you know I'm, I'm getting laid off or anything like that. God forbid. I have so much 
job security, like, that's not even an issue for me, but it's just like, man, we're so light-staffed where I work. I don't know if it's anything like that for you, but, I mean, it's just like, there's not enough, I feel like there's not enough people to, like, help, like, deal with the supply and demand of the, of the, uh, flow of everything, if that makes sense. It's very stressful. I hear a lot of my coworkers complain all the time. It's kind of lame, really, when you think about it. But you work with children. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get too much into that. But at the same time, you work with children. So it's a it's a complete different scenario from where I work with. Because, you know, I'm in a warehouse dealing with packages. And so it's just kind of like, uh, how do you do it? It's easy. But, like, I, see, I'm not good with kids. You have to be good with kids. I'm not, see, that's, that's, that's like the biggest thing that just kind of blows my mind. I'm not good with kids, so it's like, how do you do it? Patience. Well, okay. <laughs> but see, I have patience. I just, how, how do you, how do you deal with kids? Like, okay, let me, let me try to paint a scenario and just like try to fill, fill in the blanks here. Like try to answer, like address the situation. Um, okay. So you got two kids, right? Uh, well, we'll call him Billy and Tommy. Uh, Tommy stole Billy's train, and uh, now, now, Tommy's crying. What do you do? What did Tommy do to Billy's train? Uh, Billy stole Tommy's train. Oh, okay. And, and Tommy's like throwing a fit because you know his, his toy got taken away. Like, like some kid just knocked him over and took his train. What do you do? You explained to Billy that Tommy was playing with the train first, and he needs to wait until he is all dead. Oh. And then when he's all dead, he may have a turn. Oh, okay. All right. Um. See, I couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do that. I mean, like, may maybe it's just me, but uh, I, I don't think Gildan would be a good dad. I, I, I couldn't do it. But you know, I, I digress, cause. Uh, you know, that, that is impressive. See, like, you, you know this stuff. I feel like if you want to, you could probably... I don't know about write a book, but you could, you could make little notes. You could write a blog on it, like, you know, <laughs> uh, child understandment. It comes naturally, I guess. Uh, well, yeah, well... I, I feel like it's, uh, depending on what you do, you know, you kind of start gaining experience and wisdom from doing it, like, especially day after day. <laughs> So it's like, but it's like, I don't deal with kids on a daily basis. You do. See, I deal, I just deal with like, you know, packages. And like, you know, uh, proper, proper stacking techniques with, with packages. Tetris. Well, I mean, <laughs> you would think, but no, not, not actually. Uh, and it's not because I don't like Tetris. I love Tetris. Uh, you, you can, you can, that's a whole different can of worms. Now, actually, the truth is, it's like, despite the fact that, uh, you, you want to do things a certain way, I think I, I think I have some OCD tendencies from, like, actually just being so direct in how I do things. I'm a little OC when it comes to that kind of stuff. Because, I don't know, it's like, they want things a certain way, I want them to, I want to do them a different way sometimes, but, uh, you know, as long as you're doing it right, man... The other day, people didn't realize, but it turns out that I have a lot of empathy. It was a secret that they didn't realize. Huh. And, uh, I mean, it, it's weird. You know, I think some people take for granted that, you know, they don't understand, like, certain things about people. Like empathy. Which is weird, because I, I guess I'm just not very expressive when it comes to, like, showing that. Because I've been there a long time. Uh, no, it's just, it's really weird, because... Like, when you've been at a place long enough, like school, for instance, and then you have a transfer student, it's kind of like, you know, it's just another face. Just another face. But if they're really cool, you kind of want to hang out with them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I don't remember too much of school. I gotta be honest, it's, it's been a while. And I mean, like, even, even if we had to portray the whole college and, like, all that stuff, it's still been a while. Oh, man. Do you remember high school? 
Mm, not really. Not really. You know what I remember in high school? Mm -hmm. I remember there was a lounge and like that's where everyone just kind of huddled. The food the center. Yeah, that that place. Didn't they have a shop there? Yeah. People bought pretzels. Yeah. Did they have like a uh, an oven back there? A toaster. Oven. Oh, okay. And they sold energy drinks back there. Oh yeah, I remember that. I feel like that's a thing they shouldn't do. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's just me, but it turns out that the energy drinks, uh, they have a lot of chemicals in them. Okay, so good. Uh, well, I don't know. It depends which one we're talking about. I like the new monster. Which one? The, it's... I took a picture of it. You dropped your phone. <sighs> ah. Good Mango Loco. Mango Loco? It's really good. I don't know about that one. I like I like the pipeline punch. It tastes like uh, pineapple. Pipeline punch kind of has some uh, pineapple on it. Wait, wait, wait. I may have had it. Is it yellow? Uh, I'm sorry. I have to refer to them as colors because like the names do not stand out nearly as much unless I have like a huge design. Nope, I've never had it. It's really good. Okay. You should try it. Uh, I don't like Monster, but I'll drink that one. Oh, did you get it at a gas station? No, my um, co-worker bar. Oh. Well, next time you see your co-worker, you should tell him, Hey, where'd you get that one? 7-Eleven. Oh, okay. So, you go to the corner store, you go buy one, and then you, you leave happy. Mm-hmm. Okay, I got you. I got you. Uh, you know what I recently discovered, rediscovered, hmm. full throttle. I drink that all the time too. I uh, I used to. That was like probably my first energy drink, like the first brand that I went into. And then uh, because I had it too much, I I went into like a different one, and uh, I I switched to Monster essentially. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but. You see, the thing about Monster is they have so many different variations. Well, Full Throttle, I've only seen two. They had a red one, too. Really? I don't know what happened to it. I don't know either. See, like, I only see the two. You got the black one and the blue one. I go between Rockstar, Full Throttle, and Nos. Nos. I mean, I guess Nos is alright. For my money, though, I, I, I kind of like... I kind of like Full Throttle again, just because it has a very nice citrusy flavor to it. It tastes like Skittles. Yeah. And I like Skittles. I like candy in general, but I mean, like, I, I like the uh, citrusy deliciousness that you have when it comes to Full Throttle. I like Rockstar the most. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Rockstar. I mean, for my money, they taste very similar to Monster, so I just kind of like, between Monster and Rockstar, I'll go with Monster. You have, like, a tangy... Taste. I, I can't taste it. I don't know. You'd have to like. I don't, it, it's like trying to describe food. I just don't, some people just don't taste it. I feel like everyone has their own variation when it comes to the taste buds. But hey, it is what it is. I like. I like the pipeline punch. That's the pink one. Oh. That one's pretty good. I thought about trying the pink one. Oh, you should try the pink one. I don't trust zero calories, zero sugar. Though. You should try the pink one. <laughs> but what kind of chemicals do they put in to make listen, it zero calories listen. or zero sugar? Look. You should try the pink one. <laughs> <laughs> it gets the golden soul of approval, which uh, it means a lot on this segment. <laughs> okay, I'll try it. All right. Okay. And, and then afterwards, you can harshly criticize what's wrong with everything. <laughs> I'll try it on Monday for work. Okay, that sounds good. That I'll reminds me. Yeah. So, uh, I, I should probably mention, by the time we post this up, it'll probably be next week, but uh, the time of recording, it's before the 4th of July. And, and that's really awkward, because the 4th of July is on a Tuesday. And so, I don't know about you, but I'm just kind of like... That, that's a terrible day for the 4th of July. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying the 4th is a terrible holiday. It's a great holiday. I like fireworks, and I like the all-American spirit. Because I am American. 
It should be on Fridays or Saturdays. It, it should be on Fridays or Mondays. Well, preferably Friday, though. Saturday. Okay. What? Why not Saturday? Well, because I have that day off. Oh. <laughs> You see, my point of view is uh, the fourth should be on a Friday. I agree with that, and uh, then then everyone can like celebrate and not have to worry about going to work the next day because it's not in the middle of the week and uh, it, it's a very awkward situation. See, that's the problem with it being on Tuesday. I have to work on Monday. You have to work on Monday, so we're in the same boat there. And then, uh, likewise, we also have to work on Wednesday, so it's not like we can really do anything. I mean, like, all your friends are kind of, like, in the same boat where it's like, can't really, I can't really, like, hang out too much, or if I can, I can't really get too crazy. And, I mean, that's kind of how it is with a lot of my friends. It's like, uh, yeah, we could hang out, but we can't really drink, and, and I, I probably wouldn't, but I like the option. I like having the option, too. Just makes me feel better. I don't like being kept up all night with fireworks when I have to get up at 4.30. Oh yeah, that's pretty bad too. See, I work nights, so that's not really too big too big of an issue. It's just, uh, it I don't know, it just kind of sucks because then it's like, well, that's over. I'm not really going to spend any money on fireworks either because, you know, I don't really want to... I don't really want to light my money on fire, essentially. I mean, I could... That's kind of fireworks in a nutshell. You take $100, put a lighter next to it, and there you go. Equivalent to fireworks right there. All said and done, you're just kind of like, well, that was pretty. There's nowhere to light the moth, though. Yeah. There's firework bands everywhere. I believe it. This year has been, like, in like increasingly particular on, like, just being like, you, know, you can only light them in this place. And it's like... I don't want to go there because everyone's going to be there. The introvert inside me is crying about that. <laughs> I, like, I don't care what anyone says. Like, it, it's just, it does not work for me, okay? The only thing that I can really say is, like, sparklers. If I, if I get anything, it's probably just going to be sparklers. Mm -hmm. if, if, if it was a good holiday, I might actually splurge on, like, snakes and smoke bombs. Those are fun, too. Yeah, you know, it's like... Because snakes and smoke bombs, plus sparklers, I mean, you got the whole trilogy right there. What more do you need? Mortars? Nah, man. All the M80s. cool people. What? Big booms. M80s? Mm -hmm. Where are you going to get M80s? Do yeah, they still make those? Boom City. Yeah, but I don't want to go Boom City. Do you know how <laughs> far that is? Do you know the viewers probably don't even know what Boom City is? It's okay. on the Indian Reservation. Okay, so they know it's an Indian Reservation, but let me kind of elaborate. So you go north about an hour and a half from where we are. No, it's up in Marysville. I don't know where Marysville is. It's north. It's about the same distance from here to Seattle. So 40 minutes. Yeah. Plus traffic, which makes it an hour and a half. <laughs> Point proven. No, no, okay. I don't quite know where it's at. Well, situation. okay, the problem is, like, Seattle is a very pain in the butt place to try to get to just because there's so much traffic. And, you know, I, I live kind of on the edge where it's like it's all started to immigrate over here. So, uh, traffic be crazy where I live. I digress, you know. I'm not trying to complain about that sort of situation. I'm just trying to say, a 40 minute drive up north to get fireworks and not be able to light them because of some sort of firework ban does not seem worth it. I mean, I like fireworks. I used to light the mortars and those were really fun, but uh, it turns out you, you kind of get more or less the same enjoyment from just watching them. The only real thrill about it is just being able to light the wig. Mm -hmm. that, that's the only real thrill about fireworks that I find now that I'm older and uh, wiser, question mark. I don't know. Point is, do, does Wick really make it all worthwhile? Why, why don't they just sell Wicks? <laughs> because there's no boom that goes with it. Well, uh, why, why don't they just sell Wicks? <laughs> Look, 4th of July, you just get a box of Wicks and then you go like outside and watch the fireworks. Same thing. That didn't sound fun. It says, well, you're lighting your money on fire for a cheaper price, and you're, like, watching fireworks, so I'm, I don't know. 
is true. Maybe, maybe I could get some toilet paper and just light that on fire. That, the same thing, right? That's a waste of toilet paper, though. I, I'm just trying to find alternatives to the Fourth <laughs> of July here. I don't want to light my. I don't want to light my. Uh... Oh wait, I got it. I got it. The best solution ever. Hmm. I'll I'll uh, draw. I'll draw a uh, firecracker on a sheet of paper, and then I'll light it on fire. That could work. Yeah, I knew I'd figure it out at some <laughs> point. I, 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 see, I can, I can do, I can deal with the Fourth of July. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I'm, I'll, knowing me, I'll probably light something else on fire, and then uh, I'll have to call the fire department. So that's not a good situation. That would be embarrassing. No, that would suck. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it probably would be embarrassing, you're right, but I mean, the fact that you lit your whole entire house and now you're homeless, all your- yeah, all, My PS4 too. is in my house and now it's gone, <laughs> what am I gonna do? Well, I guess I'm done, channel over. Everybody, it's been fun, okay, I'm, I guess, I, end of channel, Guild's in retirement because he has to go find a house. And a new way to record everything. <laughs> so until then, I guess I will see you later. You got any closing segments? Mm -hmm. Got any closing segments? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Well, we're done. Bye! <laughs>